everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today is day 12 of Nail Miss, and that also means tomorrow is December 13th, which is Santa Lucia Day, which is a Swedish holiday that is celebrated on December 13th every year. It was actually one that my family started to do many, many years ago because we found out we had Swedish ancestors. So one of my grandparents decided that we were also going to celebrate Santa Lucia, and basically for us, it was a family gathering and we would have a special Santa Lucia bread that my mom would make and we would have the crown that had the candles and to kind of go into depth about what the holiday actually is, I will share some links down below to learn about Santa Lucia. But the main things that always stood out to me is that kind of in honor of it, we would do a dollar horse on our Christmas tree, which is not directly related to Santa Lucia, but it is a like a Swedish holiday tradition. It was a wooden carved horse that was then painted originally as a toy and then it kind of turned into other things and it has kind of turned into like a Swedish tradition. So I decided that in honor of that this year, I was actually going to kind of illustrate a dollar horse of my own and kind of loosely base it off of ones that we have on our trees as well as ones in general when you look up a dollar horse. So you guys are going to see lots of different variations if you look up one online. And the really unique thing about them is that they're all supposed to be hand painted and differently. Traditionally, they have a bright red base with a white, green, and yellow, and blue harness. And here I kind of got those elements in, but I also kept it within my own color palette. Then the second part of this illustration that you see going on in front of you is me patternizing it because I wanted to create it into a fun little pattern. So I featured a candle to symbolize the candle that you have lit for St. Lucia because like I mentioned earlier, there was always this like wreath of bread that had candles in it and or there would be the girl that carries the bread in and she would wear a crown that had was more like a wreath that had candles in it that was worn on the head and I don't remember the exact purpose behind that but there's a whole history behind it so I will share the links to it below and that is what I always did in our family whenever we used to celebrate this so I thought it'd be kind of fun to bring that into the video for nail miss and kind of talk about a different sort of December holiday that others do celebrate and as I mentioned this is something that is commonly celebrated in Sweden and Norway I believe I had to look it up because I don't know a ton of information on it. But yes, Sweden, Norway, and in just the Swedish speaking areas of Finland. So I thought it was really kind of fun to branch out and do something a little different. And I'm going to share information down below if you want to learn more about the Swedish holiday of Santa Lucia Day, as well as the dollar horse. So I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this random sort of intro into a different holiday of December. And thank you so much for watching. So I will talk to you all very soon. Bye. Also, I'm sorry if I got any of that information wrong. That was just what I kind of loosely know. And like I said, I want to share all the proper details down in the description. So please definitely go research more. Or if you guys also celebrate Santa Lucia Day, Santa Lucia Day let me know how you guys celebrate because I think that would be really interesting. Anymore, since we don't do major family gatherings, we actually just sort of have like a special dinner and do the bread and the candles and it's... It's always nice because homemade food is always delicious. And yeah, so that is it officially this time. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.